welcome to Game Road. We're really starting with the jug of water again. <laughs> jug of water! Jug of water! You heard it here first, folks. We'll have a special guest, the jug of water. It's uh, not a judge, it's just a guest. Wait, I was thinking about ways to uh, finally attract an audience to the show, and I figure everybody needs water. Without it, you'll die. In fact, most children who die this year will die from lack of water. That's right, the show is now. Well, I'm up. changing that with my drowning program. So many kids are drying up. That's why we waterboard them. There you go. We seek to equal balance in the universe. Speaking of balance in the universe, let's throw some games against each other. Alright. Hey! Mr. Space Robot, I got a block, so you gotta tell me what to do. Blank, your game is Mega Man 2. And it rhymed. Yeah, yeah that fits. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, so, uh, you know what? This is one of my favorite games growing it's up. It's one of my favorite games, too. I, so, um, I, I'm gonna go jump in a lake. Even the only joking. That's poisoning water supply. <laughs> Never seems to stop with us. Oh, no. We're incorrigible. <laughs> Alright, you go okay. to us. Alright, let us do this thing! Brendan, your game is Mega Man X. Oh, oh yeah, that, awesome! Mega Man, yeah, no, it's a classic game, it's amazing. You know what, and I love the porn parody. Yep, Mega Man Triple X. It's, it's gonna try to be more original than that, but my mouth kept moving and my brain didn't. <laughs> oh, Mega Man X, classic game, amazing. Mega Man 2, sucks. So, I think we got this. <laughs> let's, let's go to the gam. The gambling. Robots are our future. Nobody push. Nobody push start. Nobody no, push. Nobody push start. Neo 200X. 200X what though? Was created. Dark like Light. 200 times created 5. Mega Man. Stop the evil desires. Ah. Doctor Willy. Doctor the doc no, Doctor's <laughs> Willy. What? Stop the evil desires. Nobody the made that Willy? joke before. <laughs> However. Of his own robots to count on Mega Man. I like how those things like, I made a robot to stop your evil robots, or I made a bunch of more evil robots to stop your good Can robots. Can you take your cube off the screen, please? I was on the screen? No, really, really on the screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Fuck everybody! Da, na, 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 oh, da, I love, na, I love na, all the music in this game. No, I love every other song in this game. You know what I found out? Flash Almost Man. nobody else That's in the world the starts with Flash Man. I do. Yeah, no, me too. His his level's passable. Like yeah. it's possible to beat his level, and and he's, he's a, and he's not that hard. Maybe because we're weenies. Maybe because we're weenies. Well, most people go for Meadow Man, because then you can just beat the whole game with Meadow Man without any difficulty. Oh yeah, but why would you do that? <laughs> oh, I forgot the... which way to go. Haha, <laughs> 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 Blake's a scrub. T today on today's episode, we're gonna be doing nothing but talking about porn parody names for all the different things. So there's Flesh Man. Flesh Man. Flesh Man. Um, there's a uh, whoa 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 King whoa. Quick Man. We haven't got we haven't gotten to any of the other oh, characters I'm sorry. yet. Woodman. I don't really see much need to. Meadow Man. No, that looks. Olive <laughs> Man. No. <Yeah. laughs> Pretty much the porn parody of all these is the same thing. Is the same thing. Uh, Shit, I'm gonna get it crushed. I'm gonna get crushed. I'm gonna totally kill this guy and not. Oh, I was gonna actually just abandon this. Oh, geez, slippery. Ah, <laughs> it's almost like. This is the, why do we always start on the ice level too? That's so weird for us. It's not an ice level. It's yeah. it's some kind of other slippery substance level that has the same mechanics of Clink. an ice level. Uh oh. Oh wow, you did that well. <laughs> it's easy. No. Oh, oh, I wanted that guy to die. Oh well. Oh, should I have gotten the power up? Yeah. Ah. No, I don't need it. You want? Don't want to fall down that way. No, no fun. This way. Because then you can't get the E tank. Who needs E tank? Uh, it's true. I am going through the whole game. Yeah, we're gonna beat the whole game. Oh, damn it. There, there. I wanted to stand still. I like. There. I like... Fuck you. Fuck you! Hey! Auto I will never be ready! <laughs> <laughs> what are those things? Cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not doing- Oh, are you hard mode? No, I'm not hard mode. I'm just oh. sucking. I, oh, okay. I, I'm actually not really even just sucking. I'm just sort of choosing to kind of ignore the fact that I'm dying. And so, <laughs> oh, fuck it. This is my all fuck like, it You're trying to do like the shorty goes cat of gameplay. <laughs> Like, I, if I don't look at my health, I will never know if I'm dying or not. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'll live forever. You know, I know you don't misunderstand Schrodinger's cat as much as you are acting like you do right now, <laughs> but boy, do you enrage Reddit. <laughs> hey, Reddit! Feminism. <laughs> hey, Reddit! Shred Schrodinger's cat is a thing where they killed a real cat. It was a real experiment. It shows scientists hate, hate cats. Yep. I read it on Christian Science Monitor. 
Christian Science Monitor is not that bad for science information. No, it's not. It's actually really legit. Damn uh, you, second shot. Dang, lemons. Oh, no. There you go. I, one well, thing that, the one stuff. thing that does completely... <laughs> that's right. He's like, he's like, this is an, no ordinary dungeon. This is a <laughs> Dr. Wily dungeon. Okay, this guy, you have to just have lots of hit points and shoot lots. Yeah. I suppose having my one energy tank will help. If you have to use it against Flash Man, then you're using it wrong. I'm doing something wrong? Yeah. I mean, I, I figured I was just doing something wrong. I do like how this one, though, like, unlike some of the other Mega Mans, is really you can't start at any point and beat it. Like, none of the Robot Masters are impossible without the power-up. Uh, like, there, some of the later ones, like, there's no point in fighting them unless you have the right power-up. Yeah. Uh-oh! And Seizures! <laughs> Message from Dr. Light. I wish you could improve the speed of this this text. Yeah. Item 3. Completed. Oh yeah, because we didn't own any of the Mega Man games. Yeah. I remember saying at one point, like, why, like, why didn't we own any of them? Cause, and then you said, because we wouldn't get anything done. I actually think that, I, I think, I mean, you, I may have said that. You did. But, but uh, at the time, it was, we probably just... You just didn't get... We, we were kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't, we don't get, get everything. Extra life now. We don't get everything we want. Oh, do we have the thing for it? Yeah. I didn't even notice. You have, I think you have the thing that climbs walls now. Oh, well, there you go. And, nah, nah, but nah, nah, I, I'm on my last life, I believe, so... So you're gonna die anyway. Not if I can help it, and I can't. Whoop, whoop. I'm just wasting video time now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There it is. Oh, I should have gotten the extra life. You can still get the E-Tank. Do you get to keep it? Yeah. Oh. I thought you lost them when you died. I don't think so. Well, you should stop thinking entirely. I hate these guys. I used to hate these guys more, and then I realized that you, there's no cliffs in this place. So there's like one cliff. Yeah. And I think that's in the Dr. Wily stage, honestly. I like this part where you just have to blindly jump up. Yeah. It that's is, just to get. That's just to screw with your head. This game screws with your head. Well, you could be there in a lot for a long time without realizing that you. You're not making any progress. Uh, yeah, or without realizing, like, like being afraid. Like, what happens if I? Just that is to, just there to kill you. Yeah, I, I don't even see like, like I suppose if you had some kind of rush thing, maybe you could get that. Oh shit! I fucked myself. Oh no! I didn't have sex with. Oh, I fucked myself this time. I didn't give myself enough space. No, I did. <laughs> I keep being better than I expect I am. <laughs> Like, I know it's a video game, so but whatever. But like, what is this place supposed to be? Like, right. Meadow Man, some kind of weird factory. Yeah, what yeah. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. And what the hell is Flash Man stage? I don't know. And why is there no roof on this one? Oops. Oh, that's okay. It, it just takes half his health. That's all it does. So one of the stupidest power. What, the freeze power? Yeah, on this boss, or does he just... Yep, he loses half his health. You have an E-Tank, too, so if you're about to die, you can use it. Ah, but you're expecting me to think fast enough to push the button. Oh. <laughs> There's two of us. Can the two of us working together have me think fast enough to push the damn button? Yes, but not at the right time. <laughs> now? Okay, okay. Uh, I forget which button uses the button. That one! <laughs> That was some sort of some sort of bizarre fail. It's like that was just tension building. Like I was just trying to build tension. That's right. When do we stop this episode? Because I think I could get through the whole game and and not tire of it and not run out of stupid things to say. No, that's true. What's the thing on his head. It holds... That little slope. It's it's a it's, it's it's a dick it's, slot. Is it a dick slot? Yeah. Is that for Doctor Wily? No, it's it's for Doctor Light. Oh, I see. See, this is the worst mechanic. Especially the one that makes you blindly jump right at the end. That one. <clears throat> yep, reading BD-E, reading warning. Mega Man X specification. He doesn't look like a baby anymore. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. <laughs> so I love Mega Man You're not saying anything at all. You're sitting there completely silently, like... <laughs> Okay, so you know what really sucks about this game? What? A lot. About how in the first sequence they try and explain all the gameplay mechanics without having a... <laughs> without having a single text box. What the fuck?
fuck was that? Because he hates Castlevania 4. That's right. That's what we know about Aaron Hansen. He hates the... Castlevania 4. You know what I heard about Aaron Hansen? He's what? the worst man on the internet. I heard he's actually secretly a pedophile. I heard that he's not secretly a pedophile at all. And in fact, makes animations of young girls. Like Momo-chan? Like Girl-chan. Yeah, that's right. What is Momo Chan? Momo Chan's an actual thing, isn't it? It's probably some pedophile thing that you're probably. into. You pedophile. God damn it. Man. Why did you make this this gunship shaped like a bee? Well, cause everything needs to be somehow animal themed. That's why he's Mega Man, because he's man animal. But it's literally just a helicopter that shoots shaped like a bee. Like it has the the fact that it's a bee means nothing and is and is irrelevant. Well, why does the why is the Kangaroo throw boomerangs. Because you're racist. What's the purpose of ha of going into the distant future um, in the Mega Man universe when the game, it's Mega Man, the original Mega Man, it takes place in some time between the year 2000 and the year 2010. <laughs> so it's already happened. I'm sure it wasn't explicitly what they were going for with Mega Man. Yeah. But like, they were just like, 20 X to 6 was... Yeah, X, uh, X to C. X to C. What are all these things? X is this refueling stations for blown up trucks? It's just a number. doesn't mean anything. Japanese anime. Way. It's just a bunch of numbers. Neo Tokyo. Except it, not, because we want to appeal to a Western audience. It's not something about... Robo cars! It doesn't happen, cars. Maybe the, the manga or, or ma manga. Manga. Maybe the the manga. Maybe the. Um, I think you correct yourself to pronounce it wrong and also <laughs> in an annoying voice. Manga. Maybe the. Ah, 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 ah. Ow. Ow. Maybe Ow. the uh, Japanese Ow. porn parody had uh, like a specific storyline going on at this time. Yeah. Because Mega Man was pretty much dead when the Mega Man X came out. Because they'd already done like Mega Man 6 or whatever. Yeah, I think they did up. Mega Man 7 after Mega Man X. I think so. I, I could be wrong on that. Or Mega Man... Because uh... Mega Man 8 was for the Super Nintendo. And that came out after Mega Man X. Yeah, I thought Mega Man 7 may have come out after this. But, t but theoretically there was no reason to go back. So they could have just called the Super Mega Man. Yeah. But instead they're like, new chronology, new plotline. Yeah, because you care about the plotline in Mega Man games. Well, you kind of do. Do uh, you? Th th this plotline's kind of... This, th this is cool, but like, I mean, the overarching plotlines between games. Hey, Mega Man, I'm just some guy. Actually, he probably has the voice of this. I'm just some guy. Yeah, My... no, he has actually a really deep voice. I remember they voiced him and it really weirds me out. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Just like War Machine is designed to be sort of like a it's designed uh, to be Iron this Man. Guy. I remember Iron Man is like War Machine. Yeah. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you'll probably die. You should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I. Shut up, Zero. Four. One. Four. Four. Five. 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 What? I'm, we're, waiting, we're holding on this until with the seven moves. Damn it, yeah. damn it. Ooh, 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 go to nondescript beaver. Go to beaver lake. Beaver? What? Nondescript beaver? What? There's no nondescript beaver. Alright, go to extremely specific beaver. Okay. That's a penguin. Damn it, I get confused all the time. I like this game gives you like the ability, this first level. That doesn't look like Danny DeVito at all. The, the idea that Dorothy does is like, what's an obvious idea for a video game joke? Here's one, and then and then they do it, and you're like, that was funny for a while. So it's like SNL, but for nerds. That's right, it's like SNL, but for nerds. It's not all unfunny, it's just sort of funny for a while. Yeah, it's funny until it's not. I love these bats. I love these bats. Yeah, Seventh the Cancel. <laughs> I like that he traveled around the world to all these places that clearly didn't exist in his own time. Yeah. Like, this, this structure and this building did not exist. Yeah, well, maybe this is just the first level. This is maybe this Iceman's level. It's just updated Ooh, graphics. That would be interesting if it was Iceman's level and then it was just sort of like like it had been reorganized somewhat. But he's he's extremely lucky that that the first person to come across this was Mega Man, given yeah. that there's a built up structure all the way around it with supervillains living there. Yeah, I wonder about that. Like the other ones make sense, but <laughs> yay! I like the. Of course, it must be it must be uh, composed so only Mega Man's uh, robotic DNA can trigger it. His Robo DNA. His RBA. Yeah, RNA. Wait, no, that's something else. <laughs> that's, that's that's a real thing. Yeah. Dang. Uh, we gotta find more things that are not real things but sound like real things. Um. 
Mega Man porn party. It's a, it's a diegetic construction redistribution. Hey, yo, robot suit. I'm a robot in a robot suit. <laughs> this is some kind of cannibalism. Yeah. This is some. This is like a man wearing a flesh suit. Only Oops. I'm dead. I think the secrets get more diabolical as you go through the different uh, Mega Man X games. Yeah, I didn't get oh, any of the secrets in this level. Now I want to. Now I want to see somebody do a complete sketch of the Mega Man X games. It's like, well, he's beaten the skateboarder, so he'll be pretty unbeatable in the next skateboarding round when he has super skateboard powers. This is the most obvious. Just, just ignore, just ignore the hook at the top. It's just a normal thing to have in your house. I have lots of hooks in my house. Which, where I was going with that? You know, gonna... you, you know what, you know what this is. This is performance art. This is you're not fighting a boss. He's like. He's creating art and then destroying it in front of you. Yeah. It's like a metaphor or some shit. It, it, it's like, he's like, is this the two o'clock? I had a two o'clock showing. I'm booked. Why is he shooting me? This isn't part of the plan. It's like a metaphor of decay or something. But he's like an artist, man. He's That's like... what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe he's just an artist. I like how he just blows, uh, like... Like how, I, how I'm blowing? He, he just blows cold air and it creates, like, statues of him. Yeah, it's really kind of impressive. There Yay. you go. Oh no! I'm... My organs are made of metal! Ironically, I was chill, but now I'm fire! Oh, the reversal of fortunes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, the wheel of fate has turned! Damn you, hubris! Oh, Sophocles, could you have written a better plot than what I have now demonstrated for you? To the very heavens I shout! I was a penguin, but a robot penguin! <laughs> Am I but simulacra? Also, the the thing is called shotgun ice. And so it's like a it's like a gun for shooting shots of, of no. Smirnoff. Yeah. Well, uh, or it's like a shotgun shaped thing where you can take shots. Ooh. So, so 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 he's like, it's it's like well, I guess I lost the vet. Time. I guess I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> Ding! I love these. And then you advertise it to children. I love these little robot guys. They might be something from Chrono Trigger. Dragging my own body, no legs. Boy. This level was so much easier when all the lava's been frozen because he beat the ice level first. Boy, do I think this level is something I don't remember at all. I love it when actually the hazards that affect you affect the enemies you're fighting. Yeah. Ow. It's, it's, it's just... It, it means that we're living by the same rules. Yeah, I like that. It's yeah. like in the within the universe of the game, it's like this has a purpose. Yeah. But 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 I do like you can kind of beat any of the bosses, like you say, without needing the the particular we the right weapon. Yeah. But it just makes it easier and more fun. Like some of the later ones, um, like basically, like the bosses becomes because it does the thing where like, he resets his pattern when he gets hit. And they also like even when you have the right weapon, they have they have a lot of hit points because people they realize people were just exploiting it to make the bosses easy. Yeah. And they didn't want them to be easy, but I I don't like that. No. I like that you strategize, you come through with the right weapon, and and you win based on either you're really good at playing the game and that's the way you want to play it. Yeah. You're gonna play it the hardcore mode. Oh, you or, bought Nintendo Power. Or you bought Nintendo. Well, these days you know you can. Consult an internet guide, right? Yeah. And if you want to play the game a bit easier, you can do that. But if you want to have a higher challenge, you don't. It's kind of I like when it's up to you. I don't like it when it's like no matter what, this game's gonna be really ridiculously hard. You don't get to choose your difficulty level. Yeah. We chose it when you bought the game. The only thing that I that I that I would say about the Mega Man X series is I, I feel like the last boss. I'm, I, other people don't seem to have the same problem, but I, I found like. Um, the last boss was like unbeatable. Like, uh, could... Mega Man X3 was the one that we couldn't figure out how to hurt before getting a game over. Like we didn't do a single damage shoot before getting a game over multiple times. Well, speaking of getting a game over multiple times, I think this game is over. So uh, let's take a look at the... The verdict! Between Mega Man X and Mega, there you go. Mega, Man... Be. Mega Man 2 and... Okay, ah, yes. Yes. Uh, you know, I, Why do we always start with random noises? Well, because that's all we know how to do. It's true. We don't have anything else. Uh, you know, I could have played those games for a lot longer. Yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, but I, I love Mega Man. And, really? Uh, uh, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I just, when, when I'm making love to my wife, all you hear is, Mega! 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 Uh, Hi! Hello! <laughs> Hi!
Hello! Hello, what's up guys? So, uh, we, we've been playing uh, Mega Man 2 and Mega Man X. Uh, two, I think, of the strongest Mega Man games, but like the original Mega Man 2 and Mega Man X, one of the strongest sequels, I think, ever. Yeah. Um, so, the question we're trying to answer for the evil robot that lives in space and wants to kill us is, which of these two games is the better <laughs> game? Now, <laughs> it, one episode like twenty, but like I think people understand the concept of arguing. They, they, they would <laughs> if they they would if they had ever watched the episode. Which they <laughs> Welcome to your first episode, anyone who is watching this. I'm gonna try and defend why Mega Man Two is the better of the two games. Uh, first of all, the whole thing, the whole Mega Man concept is amazing. Uh, the whole idea that you collect uh, enemy weapons and you use them against uh, bosses, great idea. Mega Man 1 started it, but Mega Man 2 I think really refined it, creating um, all eight of the Robot Masters, plus you've got the uh, Wily stages. It really sets the bar for the whole series. In some ways, it's the more memorable also because it perfected the concept right from the get-go. Everything from the music, which is the most, pretty much the most amazing music ever, Bach go, can go fuck himself. It's got amazing power-ups. They don't have a lot of wasted space. The game design is really tight. Um, the bosses are fun. All the moves, and there's a lot of diversity in the bosses in terms of like you've got Quick Man, you've got a guy that freezes everything. Some of it, it might seem stupid, like Leaf Man stuff, but I think it's all cool because it's all unique, and it really set the whole stage. Um, for everything. It's, there's a reason why this is the most iconic game in the series. I agree with a lot of that. Uh, Mega Man 2 to me represents sort of the perfect refinement of some very simplistic, not simplistic, but very simple mechanics. Mega Man X is building on that in really important and huge ways. Uh, everything they add to the game is just as refined as everything in Mega Man 2 except there's more of it. Mega Man X is just a bigger, more robust experience. Um, every gameplay element is sort of implemented perfectly. All the upgrades is tied into the story, tied into the way the game works, and also tied into the original Mega Man idea of collecting and upgrading yourself. They really integrated that into the storyline, which actually sort of makes sense. And it really emphasizes the fact that in Mega Man games, you replay the same level over and over again. So they and make that actually more enjoyable by having more explorable, varying paths and various angles to go through. Yeah, RPG um, elements. More RPG elements. So it really ties it all together in a really nice, excellent way. It's a more complex and a much more richer experience compared to the more retro but equally refined one of Mega Man 2. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a hard decision. They're both great games. Um, obviously, you have to go with mine, but which <laughs> which of these two games, <laughs> these two arguments, apart from his, is the strongest argument? Well, um, you know, there's a whole lot of truth to what both of you said. I, I was thinking about this too. The whole Mega Man experience is very much like, you know, trial and error. And I think you're right about Mega Man X being more, um, like, explorable. There's a whole lot more to it. But it's this, it's the same deal, just refined more. And I, I can't say that's a fault to Mega Man 2. That's just Mega Man X being newer. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's been more iterations. I don't know. <laughs> Right, right. So I gotta go with Mega Man X. Woo! But um, that's no. I don't think that's a fault though of Mega Man Two. It I really still isn't. Think both it's games. like if both games came out at the same time, you'd go, "Oh yeah, Mega Man X." But that's why right. I said. I think that's that's because the decade gap it gets a bit more complicated. Yeah, that's one of the complex things about our whole process is really we're looking sometimes at old games and new games and comparing them and in some ways it's not fair but really Mega Man X does like you say ha have more stuff in it so I can see the point yeah um, I want to win <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, um, I understand I, I can't win all the time nor can I win most of the time <laughs> um, all right well uh, thanks a lot that was a really solid uh, response and uh, I think that you really touched on the main points there. Uh, but do you guys out in uh, YouTube cyber space land, cyber space land do, do, does the lawnmower man uh, <laughs> agree? Do we make the Don't make that game set in cyberspace. You could have referenced one of those. And, or is there more that we uh, that we should have covered? Is there something that we were missing? Um, or if you thought these were great arguments and you totally agree, okay, great. But is there a couple of other games you would have liked to see head to head? Let us know in the comment section. Uh, please check out uh, Metcalf's channel. Um, we'll put a uh, link to it. 
here. Either above or to the side or to the other side or maybe below us to be exotic. Yeah, that's right. And um, until next time, have fun and remember, always steal power from your boss. Exactly. Kill people and then steal their energies. <laughs> I don't want to be arrested, but I agree. <laughs>